welcome to We Poets. My name is Sally Baker, and I'm the host of We Poets. We Poets is a poetry show for boys and girls between the ages of 6 and 13. So if you would like to be on the program, please have your teacher or your parents call me. We're always looking for new children to come. We've been producing uh, We Poets for 33 years. We have the longest running program, children's program, on Comcast. Tonight we have three outstanding young people uh, who are in the same grade, in the same school, and they've written poems about recycling. And then our special guest is an artist, and he's brought his son, who's also an artist, and they're gonna be on the second half of the program. So here we go with our first poet. Hello, young man. Hello. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Could you look there at camera three and tell us your name and how old you are my, and what school you go to? My name is Omar and I go to Oxford. And what grade are you in? Third. Good. What do you like best about third grade? I like to read. Oh, that's good. What kind of books do you like to read? Wing the Fire. Oh, good. Now, you've been doing something about recycling in your class, right? Mm -hmm. So what poem did you write for us tonight? The Nine R's. Okay, let's hear it nice and loud, please. Reduce the plastic you use. Reuse paper that has been scribbled on. Recycle, paper, recycle bottles and cans and plastic water bottles. Rot or compost old food. Redink so you won't throw about. Refuse to use plastic forks, spoons, and cups. Remember to bring the metal cutlery. Repair folders that are ripped. Redistribute the things you own but do not use. These are the nine R's to listen to to make the world a better place. Good. Let's clap. Wasn't that wonderful? <laughs> And now, you've brought some things that you're going to show us, right? Yeah. That you made in the classroom. Okay. Which one are you going to hold up first? This one? Okay. Hold that right up to camera three and tell us what it says, please. It says, trash jar for room 22. Oxford School, right? Oxford School. Eight weeks of school and Eight 37 days. Eight weeks of days. school and 37 days. Good. And 21 students in your class? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, that's great. Now, let me hold this and you bring your jar and tell us what this jar is that you made. Okay. Look right there at camera three and tell us about this jar. The jar, it has trash that's plastic and it has, it, and it has some wood and broken pencils. Good. Did the teacher bring this jar to the classroom? Yeah. And then everybody put something in it? Only trash. Only trash, uh-huh. And how, how long does it take before it gets filled up, do you know? Days or weeks? Like... Probably weeks, huh? Yeah. Okay, well thank you so much for coming. You did an excellent job. I'm very proud of you. And we're going to hear from you the end of the program, okay? Okay. Let's clap, please. <laughs> And now we have a pretty young lady here, and she's going to tell us about herself. Hello, young lady. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Look right there at camera three and tell us your name and how old you are and what school you go to, please. My name is Ella. I'm nine years old, and I go to Oxford Elementary. And what grade are you in? Third. Third. What do you like best about school? What subjects? Reading. Reading. Why is it important that boys and girls read? Can't think of anything. To like learn that. things. To learn things. That's good. Now, we're talking about recycling in your classroom. Yeah. You have a project in your classroom, right? Yes. What's the name of the project? Zero Waste. Where is the Zero Waste class? Oh, good. And you've written me a poem, right? Yeah. Okay, what's the name of your poem? Smile. Okay, let's hear it nice and loud. The sparkling water, the salty flavor, the clear blue water of the bay. A chill goes up your back. But when you look at my face, a frown is what you might see. Because cans, rubber bands, plastic wrappers, and cups flow all about. Why do people use the beautiful bay as an ugly trash can? It just does not make sense. It hurts fish and chubby seals and dolphins and crabs. Please rethink before you litter. Keep the bay clean and put a smile on my face. Great. Let's clap. Wasn't that wonderful? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. Now you're going to show us what you made in the classroom, right? Yes. You want to pick those up and show it to camera three, please. Okay, you got it. Okay, what do you want to do first? Okay, you're going to do the cup first, okay. Um, so we use metal instead of all the plastic that the school provides us. So we use metal cups at lunchtime instead of the plastic. Uh, instead of plastic, mm -hmm. we use metal spoons at breakfast instead of the plastic spoons. And we use um, metal forks for lunch instead of um, the plastic forks. And then what is this basket? Does everybody Plastic. have a basket? No. Oh, you just brought that tonight to hold your utensils yes. in, right? Okay, very good. Um, and then this is a poster that is that up our three. sustainability results so far. So we've saved 128 plastic spoons, 206 296 plastic forks and 296 plastic cups were not were not used and so not added to the landfill. Oh, that's great. I'm very proud of your class. And you recycle at home? Mm -hmm. How do you recycle at home? Do you have the, the different containers to put the waste in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it your job to take out the garbage or dad's job to take My out the dad's. garbage? My dad's. Oh, he takes out the garbage. He's big and strong, right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to tell us about recycling in your classroom? Is this your first no. time on TV? Yes. Are you nervous? Yeah. Oh, you did a wonderful job. I'm very proud of you. Thank and when all you. those millions of people see you and your classmates, they're going to be so proud of you, too. You did a great job for your first Thank time. Thank you. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> And now we have our last poet, and she's going to tell us all about herself. Hello, young lady. Hello. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Could you look there at camera three and tell us your name and how old you are and what grade you're in, please? My name is Brazil. I'm eight years old, and I am in third grade. And that's Oxford School? Yes. And these were your classmates, right? Yes. And you guys did a project about uh, recycling, right? Yes. And what did you write for me tonight? I wrote a poem about the earth. Okay, look right there at camera three. And let's hear it nice and loud. Greenland is a part of us all. Long sandy beaches and tall swaying palm trees are a part of us all. Clean up trash. Don't dump in the water and pollute the water. Help plants, help animals. Bees have stingers and fuzzy fur. They pollinate the trees and help us get fruits, like passion fruits. Let's help the bees. Let's help the flowers. Poppies, daisies, roses, sunflowers, daffodils, and lavender. All these make my heart glow. Please, oh please stop the madness of pollution. It is hurting the animals in the oceans, animals in the ponds and lakes. All my happiness is turning upside down. Stop the dumping of nature. It's not healthy for the lives of plants and animals. Choose the right thing. Choose to make the decision to do the right thing. Great, let's clap. Wasn't that wonderful? <laughs> Now, you brought us something that you made also in the classroom, right, that you're going to show us? Yes. Okay, you want to pick those up and show it to us, please. Okay, now you're going to hold this up to camera three, and you're going to tell us what it is, please. Well, these are our pencils that we use, and like for math and um, writing and drawing, and they don't have any paint on them. These are zero waste pencils that we use that are all wooden and we sharpen them and a lot is like being used and and what we do is whenever we have a dull pencil our te we put it in a basket like one of these mm -hmm. and our teacher sharpens them the next day so we use them over and day. Oh, and that's over again. a good idea, good idea. Now, and these are just the uh, baskets that your teacher provides in the classroom? Yes. Oh, each one has a basket, uh -huh. or just the teacher? Um, 
Just the teacher. Just the teacher, okay. Now let's see what the next thing is you're going to show to camera three. This is um, a sign that says Zero Waste Classroom 22. There's 21 students in our class. And then it says our class jar. And I drew the jar with our whole class around it. And as I said before, there's 21 kids. And then I wrote yay because zero waste is very important. That's right. Well, I'm so proud of you students. And I saw your picture in the newspaper, everybody's picture. You did a wonderful job and I'm very thank proud you. of you. And thank you for coming. Let's give her another round of applause. <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of We Poets. I'm Sally Baker, the host. I would now like to introduce you to my special guest for tonight, a father and son who are artists. So we're gonna start with the son first. Hello, young man. Hello. How are you tonight? Great. Great. Would you look there at camera three and tell us your name, how old you are, and where you go to school, please? My name is Trey. I am nine years old, and I go to the School of Madeline in Berkeley. Great. Is this your first time on TV? Yes. Are you nervous? A little bit. Oh, you're going to do just fine, and you look so handsome tonight. I'm Thank very you. proud of you. And this is Dad beside you, right? Yep. Yes, and Dad was on my program several years ago. It's been a long time, but I'm glad he came back and brought you. So now tell us what you have drawn for us tonight. Show us your, tell us about your poster. Tonight I drew Stephen Curry, and he's wearing the uniform at the Oracle, and he's playing basketball. And what's his number? His number is 30. 30. Have you brought one of his uh, t-shirts or sweatshirts? No. Has dad? No. Oh, have you been to any of his games? Yes, one. One. And did he win? Did they win that night? I can't remember. You can't remember, but I bet it was exciting, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. So tell us anything else about this painting. What did you do it with? Pen pencil or crayon or what? I did it with paint. Oh, good. How long did it take you to make it? Mm, one day. One day? Wow, you're a good artist. That's wonderful. Have you submitted any of your paintings to any contests? No. I think you should. You do a wonderful job. And Thank maybe you'll you. win first prize at one of those contests. Now, Thank anything you. else you'd like to tell us about you before I hear from Dad? Did Dad help you with your painting? Yes. Good, good. He's a good teacher, isn't he? Yes. Anything else you'd like to tell me about Dad? Uh, he likes to paint, too. He likes to paint, too. We're going to see some of his paintings. He brought yes. two paintings, right? Yep. Okay, so now we're going to hear from Dad. Thank mm -hmm. you. You can just sit there, and we're going to hear from you later on. You did a good job. Let's Thank clap. <laughs> okay, Dad, you're on. <laughs> Would you like to look there at Camper 3 and tell us your name and something about you, please? Yes, my name is Marvin McMillan, Jr., and I'm a uh, Bay Area artist. And I started uh, painting at an early age. I started painting uh, from what they tell me in the high chair. I started out, uh, well, my sisters and brothers started out tearing paper bags, and my mom too, tearing paper bags and placing them in the high chair because that was pretty much the only thing that would keep me still for uh, quite some time. So they would give me a uh, tear paper bags, put them in the high chair, and let me just start drawing. Great, where do you show your artwork? Uh, I currently have, uh, well, I've shown my work throughout the Bay Area and abroad. I also have uh, work that's on display at the Schomburg Gallery in L.A. Oh, wonderful. And it will be on display probably for another month or so. How many uh, pieces do you have in the exhibit? I have a total of 12 uh, pieces. 12? Tell us yes. about those 12, please. Well, I have uh, one that is called um, 
uh, Thelonious Monk, which mm -hmm. is a jazz musician. Right. A uh, great uh, jazz musician. So that piece is a black and white oil painting. Good. It's about 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. uh, another piece I have is a traditional uh, piece that kind of relates th to the African American and how we uh, used to eat government cheese and things of that <laughs> <Yes>. nature. Uh, <laughs> so it kind of tells the story of uh, African Americans lineage and how we kind of made it through uh, certain times. Good, good. Now you brought two of your paintings tonight, right? Yes. We're going to show both of them. But okay. first of all, let's talk about the first one and then we'll take a break and bring the second one on. So please tell us about this first painting. Okay, this first painting is a painting of Mr. Fab, which is, he's a local uh, hip hop artist, but he's uh, traveled throughout uh, the country and also he's pretty well uh, known uh, throughout the country as well. And this particular piece is an oil painting, and I believe the size is 40 by 60. And the reason I chose to uh, paint this picture is I was kind of focusing on our local um, hip hop artists and also mm -hmm. people that are doing uh, great things in the community now. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Fab has been kind of putting his uh, word out and actually doing a lot of uh, helping with kids and things of that nature, such as his drive with giving back to the community uh, by giving backpacks and throwing local parties and things of that nature for kids. And so he's been really stepping up to the plate and doing uh, uh, great things throughout the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. So that was my reason for uh, doing this particular painting. Mm -hmm. Now when you do your paintings, do you go out to the artist that you're, I mean the person you're going to paint, or you just do it from memory or a photograph? How do you do it? Well, it really depends on the, on the subject matter and what I'm trying to convey. Sometimes it could be out of a magazine, sometimes it could be uh, directly out of my head, mm -hmm. or if I have a camera handy, sometimes I'll just go out and just shoot, or sometimes I even use my iPhone as well. Mm -hmm. What uh, subject do you like to paint best, like people or animals? or A what? little bit of both. It kind of varies. Not too much animals. It varies from uh, local uh, jazz, I mean jazz artists. It varies to local uh, rap artists. And also, uh, sometimes it kind of varies into uh, politics as well. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. Our current events. Yes. Now, are you invited to go out to schools and teach children like your son here uh, how to paint? Yes, I uh, actually teach kids how to draw on an iPad oh. and adults as well. Good. And sometimes uh, I teach at the uh, Richmond Art Center. Mm -hmm. uh, there I have an uh, iPad uh, drawing class. Usually it's during the summertime where I kind of teach kids mm -hmm. or adults how to um, paint on the uh, iPad or uh, basically draw and then use the apps to, uh, to paint as well. Mm -hmm. Have any of the children won any contests that you taught? Uh, so far, no. Well, they, they will. <laughs> <laughs> they will. <laughs> now, do you teach adults too, uh, as well as children? How yes, I have taught adults uh, how to draw. Um, mostly I've been teaching, uh, I should say recently, uh, teaching adults how to draw on the iPad teaching them different techniques and how their particular apps work and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And where do you go to teach these classes uh, for the adults? Well, Richmond Art Center being one. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes I'll meet so someone at uh, a Pete's Coffee or a Starbucks, things of that nature, and sometimes mm -hmm. I'll invite someone to my studio. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break so we can bring your second piece on. Okay. But we'll be back in just a moment. Boys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen, don't turn off those TVs. We're going to change the easel and we'll be back in just a few minutes. And now, Marvin, tell us about this second lovely painting that you brought to show us. This particular painting is a painting of Stephen Curry, who actually plays for the Golden State Warriors. This is a work in progress, and it's going to be a tribute piece to uh, Stephen Curry. Uh, it's going to have a lot of information pertaining to his stats as a basketball player. And it's also going to have his father and a portrait of uh, Jesus in the background on the uh, left-hand side. And it just kind of represents his spirituality and also uh, some of his uh, uh, trophies or uh, I should say some of the accolades that he's had throughout his career uh, in the NBA and including uh, college and a little bit of his family life as well. Mm -hmm. Now how long did it take you to do it th thus far? Thus far I would say it took me uh, probably a month or more mm -hmm. uh, because there's a, uh, several different stages. There's the pencil stage, which means uh, sketching it out. 
there's a stage which it is at this point is um, acrylic paint. It's called an underpainting. And then after that, I'm going to lay uh, oil painting over the top of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of structuring everything, kind of getting it ready for the last uh, stage, or good. the last two stages. Have you been to any of his games? Uh, multiple games, me and my wife, yes. Oh, good. Did, did they win every time yes, you they went? Did. Oh, that's good. Except <laughs> that's for back good. in the day, they, when I took it the first time, they lost. Oh, well, but, we got to lose sometimes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but they've been winning mostly. Wonderful. Now, do you go out to schools or senior citizens' places and teach uh, artwork? Uh, I have taught throughout the Bay Area. Um, I teach uh, basic drawing sometimes. But mainly, uh, I've been teaching iPad uh, drawing lessons. Where at? Or iPad uh, drawing classes, I should say. Richmond Art Center being one. Uh, sometimes uh, teach private lessons at Starbucks Coffee, Pete's Coffee, or sometimes I invite people to my studio uh, oh, as well. And your studio is located in Oakland? It's in the Bay Area, yes, in Oakland. Good. Yes. Would you give, it'll come up on the screen, but would you give us how people can contact you? Yes, you can contact me at m 2 Art. It has all my contact information, such as email, phone number, uh, business address, things of that nature, if you would like to get in contact with me, or if you would like a commission done. Good. And you say you have some of your artwork down in Los Angeles, is it? Yes, I Tell currently us about have. That. Uh, yes, I currently have a body of work: twelve paintings, uh, some oil, some acrylic painting, uh, mixed media as well, and it's at the Schomburg Gallery in L.A. Mm -hmm. And so, like I say, if people wanted to see, uh, look at your work, they just pull it up on the uh, internet, right? Yes, I believe it's Schomburg Gallery, where you can see that particular body of work, SchomburgGallery.com. And if you want to see more of my work, you can uh, log on to M2 Fine Art. That's where you can see uh, some of the paintings in the past. Most of the new body of work is in Santa Monica, uh, L.A. right now. Mm -hmm. And you came on years ago when we were out at Comcast. Yes. We were out there 25 <laughs> years. Yes. And tell us about your experience then. You were just starting, weren't you? Yeah, I was just starting out in my career. Uh, yes. Very young, <laughs> very little. <laughs> and it was uh, very interesting to uh, be on television at that particular time. Good. Very nervous and not knowing what to expect, but you got my feet wet, and <laughs> I've been doing a lot of uh, great things since then. Have you been on other television programs since you were on 25 years ago on my program in El Cerrito? Uh, just Bay Area shows, uh, local shows. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And a lot of interviews. A lot of interviews. Yeah, a lot of like, interviews. Like some, what quickly? Um, there was a lady, I believe she's based out of LA, I can't think of her name, but she did like a. Uh, um, a slight uh, interview. Not, oh. It's not a podcast, but okay. she kind of took my information. Okay, and then well, we're out of time. Right okay. now, we're going to have the children come on. All right. Boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, don't turn off those TVs. We're going to have our poets come on before we say goodbye. <laughs> And now the children have questions they're going to ask, so we'll start with your son. Are you going to put Jesus in the background of your painting? Yes, actually I am, and it's going to symbolize uh, spirituality because Stephen Curry is a real spiritual uh, person, so that's going to be the reason why I'm going to put uh, a portrait of Jesus in the background. It's going to be kind of faded out, but you'll be able to recognize who it is. Good. Next question, please. Did you, co um, did you copy it? off a picture or did you memorize it? I actually found a photograph of Stephen Curry and actually uh, looked at that photograph to actually create this painting. Mm -hmm. Next question please. When have you started art? I started at a very young age, even littler than you, or I shouldn't say little because you're a big guy, but I started very young um, drawing in the high chair and and that was the only thing that would kind of keep me still because I was kind of a, I had a lot of energy in other words, so I would run around. So that was the only way to kind of keep me quiet and keep me in one spot at the time. So I started very, very young. Good, next question please. How long does it usually take, take you to finish a painting? It really depends on, and that's a great question, all of you guys. Um, it really depends on the media and then what I mean by media, what type of uh, paint or, uh, that I'm going to be using at that particular time in the subject matter. Uh, with oil paint, it usually takes uh, a month or more to dry, or several months. If it's acrylic paint, acrylic usually dries fairly fast within uh, several hours to a day. 
And if it's pencil, you know, of course, uh, pencil, uh, you don't have to wait. There's no drawing time, but I can uh, actually do a drawing within a couple hours. Mm -hmm. And you like to teach children like these, and younger yes. or older, and yes. seniors? <laughs> yes, both. Uh -huh. Which do you prefer? Uh, it doesn't matter. Does it matter? Uh, but I really enjoy teaching kids because of the um, they don't have all the restrictions that majority of times the grown-ups have. Mm -hmm. uh, they're more free with, with the art. Mm -hmm. and they're not too concerned with making mistakes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. So each of your children, do you have another question for Dad? No. Okay. You have another question? Another question? No. Another question? No. Well, I guess they've run out of their questions. Is there anything <laughs> else you'd like to say to them about their poetry work tonight? Yes, I would like, uh, well, first off, I think you guys did a great job, and also I like your drawing. You, you guys did a great, great job, and I'm amazed at all the knowledge that you guys have in your uh, presentations that you guys gave. Thank and I liked you. your drawing as well, Trey. Yes, and I know all their classmates and their teachers and their family and all those millions of people watching would be so proud of them and for, so proud of you yes. and your wonderful paintings. And I hope you'll get lots of calls for people to have you do some paintings for them, you know? Yes. Yes, indeed. So, again, would you like to tell us where people can reach you? It'll come up on the screen, but uh, once again, please. Okay. And first of all, thank you very much, Sally, for having me yes. uh, with my son. That was, was a very special moment thank to you. have my son here. And if anyone wants to contact me, you can contact my website uh, m2fineart.com. And all my uh, contact information is on that website. Great, great. Well, thank you guys so much. And go back to school and tell your classmates, I'd like to have everybody in your class come and be on my program. I think I've had about six students in your class come and be on the program. So I'd like to have the rest of the class come on. And I'd like to have you come back in, maybe when you finish Stephen Curry, okay? Oh, fantastic, thank so, you. So, um, if there's anything else, nothing else anybody wants to say before we say goodbye? Okay, well, if I'd like to say if any of you children would like to be on the program like these children are our guests, uh, please call me. I'm always looking for special guests to come on, like um, Kevin, Mev, Marvin here. Marvin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always looking for teenagers to come and get an internship, and they produce our program. This year, our interns are from El Cerrito High School, and they're 16 years old. So if you'd like to get free training as an intern, you can call me, and I'm always looking for guests and we're always looking for sponsors. We're a nonprofit organization. So thank you so very much, and we're gonna say goodbye. Let's all say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm very proud of you. 